Okay, uh, Studio D, let's talk about how to send the musicians a cue mix. The way I would do it would be to set up um, pre fader sends uh, in the Pro Tools. These are assigned to bus one. So I made an auxiliary track, I called it cue mix. So the input of that is receiving from all those channels in the upper left on uh, bus one and two. Its output is three and four. Okay, so even if I move this, uh, if I move this fader, uh, the prefader makes it independent. So in the control room, you can mute the click track, you can adjust the volume, and it's not going to mess up the headphone mix at all. It'd be totally independent. Uh, there's probably a number of ways to set up a cue mix, but this is the way I would do it. Um, in order to get out of the computer to the headphones, you're going to need to patch. Uh, so uh, I signed it to three and four in the output for the click track, uh, anticipating that one and two are going to be for the main mix back to the console. So this in the pink zone, 002 are out, uh, three and four. And those connect to, uh, where do I take them? Mackie tape returns, 19 and 20. Then the button up here, Click it down so that it's on tape. You shouldn't need the preamps at all. You've got plenty of level. Now for the left one, uh, no, it's, if I want a stereo cue mix, it'll be the, number one is going to be my left side. Number two on the other one is going to be my right side. Come over here to the masters for each of those and, and give them some juice. And that should do it. That should be sending everything I dial in in this mixer is going to go to the headphones. And the way you get this mixer is under view. You go to sends uh, and the default is this assignments view which looks like this. Which doesn't help me for what I'm doing. So view, sends, it's in the send A spot. Watch what happens. Wait for it. Boom! That gives me my handy dandy mixer for the headphones. Alright, pre-fader, so hold down Alt on the Apple and hit that P on any channel and all of them will engage. Alt means all. So, okay, so that's this side of it. Looks like we're sending click track to the headphones. Let's go out to the booth and see what we got. So the signal comes out of the console. <laughs> Excuse me, it goes up, it goes into this box. This box for the Q mix is plugged in. So those channels go up, around, into the booth. The signal comes out. We hooked in this dedicated cable for our headphone amp. You'll need to check this out for your se session. Um, each one has about you can have four musicians on each one, individual control on each. There's a master volume as well. Um, so it, it, it plugs out of the wall. And on the back, there's input on the right, left and right, one receiving from AUGS 1, the other from AUGS 2 from the Mackie. So that, you can kind of hear it. We've got our click track going on, so it's working. All right, so that's how we get a Q-Mix. And on the console, on the talkback section, if you hold down AUGS 1 and 2, you can talk into the headphones. So talkback, AUGS and 1. If you just hold that down, there's a microphone built right in the console, and you can talk to the headphones. Be careful of the level so you don't kill the eardrums. All right, I hope this is helpful and uh, helps you get going in your sessions.